wanted it to kind of feel like the end of the album. I always knew that what song would end the album. So I wanted to make sure, and so did Stevie, that we kept that tone, that, you know, this was going to be the last song on the record. And uh, I think we captured that. To basically check it out, check out, because I hadn't been there or whatever. And my dad was there, and he was on the floor, and he had all these, like, plans, like, like geometrical plans out on the floor. And he was putting together a little tiny baby blue buggy, a doll buggy for me. So, of course, I was very, you know, I couldn't understand why he was down there and why he was doing this. So I asked him very bluntly, why was he there and what was this that he was doing? And he said, well, Santa was very, very busy tonight, Stevie. And uh, so he showed me how to do this and asked me if I would put this buggy together for you. And so, but now this has to be our secret and you don't tell your mom, don't tell anybody. This is, you know, something I just decided to do. and. Just forget about it, okay? And I said, no problem. And I and I went back to bed. And the next day, when I you know when I opened up this buggy that was all put together, I totally believed him. That he absolutely had spoken with Santa and had this deep conversation. So that's that's what I remember the most about Christmas. I remember that morning and that that relationship between he and I. Silent Night was written in 1818 by an Austrian priest, Joseph Moore, and his church organist, Franz Gruber. For more than 150 years, it's been one of the most treasured of all Christmas songs. And it's a special favorite of Stevie Nicks, Grammy Award nominee, singer, songwriter, and member of Fleetwood Mac. In fact, she once made a demo recording of Silent Night as a Christmas present for her parents. Tonight, together with her very special guest, Robbie Neville, she's making a present of it to us. Yeah. 